Hello everyone, this is La Quintero and I am here to do a reading for the karmic. Um, this is the karmic's weekly reading for the week for this week. The karmic could be a male or a female. Um, so spirit told me to uh say something in the karmic's energy. Or the, the karmic's energy brought back to me something, but spirit wanted me to say something. Um and it's about uh, pitying, pitying oneself and pity parties. Um, Because it's a time and place for pity, to pity yourself. It's a time and place for that. And when you pity yourself at the wrong time, it becomes a trap. It becomes a trap. Uh, or when you overly pity yourself. It can, it, it can develop into a trap. So, this is, this is to rebuke the karmic and or to encourage the karmic. What I'm about to say about pitying. And is to rebuke the karmic or to encourage the karmic. Um... Because I know one time years ago, I was going through, this was like um, my, uh, I was going through a dark night of the soul. And it was one of my major dark night of the souls. Like, you know, because I've been through a couple of dark night of souls in my life. But this particular dark night of the soul I'm talking about, this was the one. <laughs> this is my bread and my butter. <laughs> Um, and this was years ago. Uh, yeah. So I was going through whatever I was going through, going through my dark night of the soul and spirit revealed to me in a dream about how the enemy, cause you know, me being a seer and certain things, um, spirit revealed to me in a dream, um, about how the, the enemy, because the enemy knew I was going through something. I was going through my dark night of the soul. But what people don't realize is how you handle the dark night of the soul. It's how you handle it. Um, a dark night of the soul can either make you or break you. So, spirit revealed to me in a dream how the enemy was aware um, of what I was going through. And he set up an entire pity party. And Spirit was showing me uh, in a dream how uh, pity parties could be presented in different ways. How the enemy can use pity parties in different ways. And then the enemy will, like, invite you <laughs> um, to a pity party. But in the dream, what Spirit was revealing to me, Spirit was revealing to me the... Uh, the low vibrational energy that uh, initiated the pity party and the people that the pity party was using to um, approach me, to join the pity party. But it was a negative force behind the invite. It was a negative force behind the invite. <laughs> so... And when spirit revealed it to me in a dream, I was kind of like shocked. I'm like, whoa, okay. So spirit in a dream told me, don't go in there. Don't, don't go in. <laughs> it's a setup. It's a pity party, but don't go in. So, um, that's why, uh, on a natural, in a natural, when we're going through things, you cannot accept I don't care if it's true or not what the person or the individual is saying. I don't care if it's true or it appears true. I don't care if it's a logical or a common sense response. A person do not have to accept something that they don't have to accept. Because it's always room for improvement. And um, it ain't over until the most high say it's over in people's individual lives. Now, if you give your um, power away, that's different. And that's another thing I want to say, too. 
people like to play word games and play mind games and tricky and trick people. Um, and so basically what I'm saying is, um, yeah, so, um, uh, it's a time and place for all things and it's a time, it's nothing wrong with, you know, going through something and you pitying yourself and stuff like that. And then other times it ain't time for that. It ain't time, uh, but people got to be discerning of, of what's going on in their life. People got to be discerning of what's going on in their individual lives. Because um, sometimes there is a need for you to kind of like pity yourself. Because sometimes pity could lead to um, evolving. So you, people got to know the difference between pitying yourself and it leads to your dis dis destruction Versus pitying yourself and it leads to higher heights. It leads to you evolving. Um, and it leads to you doing shadow work. So, that's what I want to say too. So, yeah. So, something could be going on with the karmic or karmic energies and pitying. Because um, that's the message I got. And Spirit told me to say what I just said. And then I heard this going to either, this is to either rebuke the karmic, what I just said, or to encourage the karmic. So, collectively, if you're not the karmic, the karmic could be trying to invite you to a pity party. Because the karmic know you're, you might not be at your best or something like that. So, so um, if y'all not the karmic, you know. Just be aware. If you you know, if it resonate, it resonate. If it don't, it don't. All right. So let me say my disclaimer. So please keep in mind that the reading it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that time it is fluid. So this reading can manifest this week. Yeah, look at this. Someone is lying. Somebody being fake. Yeah. Um, or this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, I'm going to still show y'all what's at the bottom of the decks that I'm using. So, we got the Seven of Swords. The karma could be an air sign. Don't have to be. Lying to you and still trying to get away with something. Somebody trying to get away with something. We got fake here. Someone who isn't themselves to gain friends and popularity. They seem very nice to everyone. Yet trash talks them behind their back in order to improve so their social status. And I also did a live this morning. And um, the, the, the main message of my live, what I got out of it was, um, it was karmic this morning. Uh, or collective, you might run into this sometime today. Um, it's karmics that's, uh, upset with high vibrational energies because the high vibrational energies is not an ass kisser and high vibrational energies is not a wolf in sheep's clothing. So the karmic is making a conscious decision to go behind, um, high vibrational energies backs and, um, pay for spell work, um, cheating. So some of you guys could be, you know, the karmic's lover and um, the karmic mad because you won't kiss their ass or something like that. Or you probably didn't get a karmic money or something. Um, some of you guys, the karmic's was your competitor in love. Um, they trying to do uh, love spells, love magic, breakup spells. Um, doing spell work on you to get their way. Because the, uh, the karmic energy wants the fake flex. And they pay for spell work on you to get their way. So, some of them want money from y'all. Some of them want uh, sex. Some of them want control. Um, yeah, it's really all about control. It's really all about control. Um, and things like that. So, that's what the karmics could be up to this week. Because they want high vibrational energy to kiss their behind and stuff. And stuff like that. So.
So, yeah. For some of y'all, too, I'm getting a message. Um, For some of you guys, too, the karmics... Um, Collective, maybe the karmic, um, the karmic could be y'all spouse or the karmic, whoever the karmic is. I just heard another message to another scenario. These karmics is giving away something that you deserve. They're giving it to somebody else and they're doing it on purpose because you won't kiss their ass. Um, so I'm gonna give you an example. Collective, say like you married to your karmic, whether you're a male or a female and you're high vibrational. And the karmic wants you to kiss their ass or the karmic mad because you're high vibrational or you too high vibrational for them. Um, and collective, say like the karmic is your spouse and you need money for something. But the karmic cheating on you. The karmic gonna say, no, I don't, I don't got no money. But it's like when you leave the karmic energy, the karmic gonna go to their third party and give their third party some money. Like something like that. Like something. Or a collective, if you're dealing with a karmic career or a karmic boss or something, it's like, collective, you could be well do a, a, a raise or something. And a karmic might go behind your back and give it to, like, another worker that don't deserve it or something like that. That's what these karmics doing. Yeah, something like that, these karmics doing. Especially, like, this morning, because I picked up that energy in a, in a live this morning. Yeah, they being very... Uh, they being a karmic. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. But I picked up collective. If the karmic did any type of spell work on you in the past or this week, it's going to get lost or it's going to come to nothing. It's, it, oh, I heard it's going to be as if the karmic did nothing. It's going to be as if the karmic did nothing. Yeah, so it's like the karmic doing something, but the karmic not going to get their point across. The karmic kind of trying to prove a point or something like that. So give me a message for the karmic, the overall message. Give me a message for the karmic for this week. Okay. Yeah, Wolf Moon, I will watch over you. So the karmic could definitely be doing um, moon magic. This week, or the karmic did some moon magic in the past. So the karmic could be um, spying. It's like collective. You didn't ask the karmic to watch over you, and the karmic like watching you. Um, the karmic could be hovering over you, or collective. For some of you guys, this karmic want money from you guys. And they're saying, I'm the watcher, um, I'm here to protect you, or something like that. But the karmic really wants something from you guys. Yeah, this karmic, like, I will watch over you, or something like that. But it's not sincere, or it's not for free, or something like that. Because this karmic wants something from you, or something like that. Um, I'm missing the deck. Where, where is it? I knew I... I thought I had it. Where is the... Oh, here we go. All right. What's the Carmen's angel answer for this week? Um, collective, for some of y'all too, as well, the karmic could be like a spirit or something. For some of y'all, I'm picking up this karmic energy could be like a some sort of spirit. Um... Collective, you didn't call this karmic in. This karmic could be a low vibrational entity. You did not call this karmic in. I don't know where this karmic came from. Collective, you might have to rebuke this karmic out your energy. And then we got no at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. I don't know. Collective, I don't know where this karmic came from. I don't know if this karmic think they're your ancestor or somebody could have put this karmic in your energy. It's a low vibrational. It's a spirit. And collective, y'all might have to rebuke this um, energy out your energy. Because you did not call this energy in your life or something like that. Or something.
or collective this karmic think they doing you a favor and they're like really not or something this karmic could be having a pity party because if you look at the karmic eyes it looked like this karmic was crying the karmic makeup or something could be uh i heard mascara Okay, so for some of y'all, I'm picking up collective. The karmic um could be in denial about something. They're trying to force something. The karmic trying to force something. And the karmic could be crying. Um, and they don't want to accept something. Yeah. All right. All right. What's the karma's angel answer for this week? Oh, yeah, it's no. No, yeah. So I heard intuitively that the karmic is trying to collect. The, the karmic is trying to do some type of favor for you or something. I heard the karmic is doing it to heal their bloodline. The karmic is doing something trying to, um, but it's to benefit the karmic or their ancestors or, or something. So I'm hearing the karmic is out of line. This this karmic is out of line. Or something like that. So whether this karmic a human or like a, a spirit of some sort, collected this karmic feel as though if they do some good deeds or something for you, that it would like heal their bloodline or something, or their ancestors or something. Or they would get heal healing. So for some of y'all, this karmic energy could be a an energy vampire. So y'all might have to, this karmic collective, the karmic's no is your success. So because the karmic is going to get a no concerning something, collective, it might lead to your success. Or it's like collective, the only way for you to be successful, the angels have to tell the karmic no. Yeah. Yeah, this karmic could be an energy vampire of some sort. Whether this karmic a human or... um. Uh, um, a spirit. So, collective, for some of y'all, this karmic could be somebody's ancestor. And I don't know who the, the person is. Somebody's praying to this karmic, which is their ancestor. And, collective, the, this karmic is trying to answer somebody's request, but at your expense. So this karmic, somebody is praying to this karmic. And this is the karmic's ancestor. And collective, the karmic's ancestor is trying to... This karmic is somebody's ancestor. And they're trying to answer somebody's request or petition. But it's not, no, because it's like at, at your expense or something like that. Or something. All right. All right. What's the karmic's advice for this week? Abundance. Yeah. So I'm picking up this karmic might have to do something, um, like naturally or manual manually instead of like maybe conjuring or petitioning something so i'm gonna give an example collective say like this karmic is so i'm gonna put them together i'm gonna put them together <clears throat> but what i'm picking up is collective say like this karmic don't have a job so, what this karmic do for money is they do something. This karmic uh, do something with uh, ancestors or this karmic be conjuring or something. And the karmic's ancestor, 
go in other people's energy and take from other people and give it to the karmic. What's going on with the karmic this week is the energies is telling the karmic, you have to do something naturally or manually. I heard manually. Like, this is like something like get up and go get a job and stop conjuring and having your ancestors do things and get up and go get a job. Like something like that. Abundance. So the karmic wants something. But it's the way they're trying to obtain it. So the karmic's advice is to know that they are a limitless being and they can manifest whatever they desire in this physical reality. So I'm picking up the karmic need to learn how to manifest physically and not spiritually without causing harm to others. That's what this karmic needs to learn. Or that's what this karmic needs to do. Because for the most part, um, yeah. Um, um, Because for the most part, um, things that I have experienced and things that I saw, sometimes when people get ancestors involved in things, ancestors can be very aggressive. They can be very aggressive. And these are things that I know without even, even conjuring. I don't have to open my mouth and pray. I don't have to conjure. I don't have to do anything. These are experiences that I had without, I'm just sitting there minding my business and certain things I experienced. And sometimes when uh, an ancestor has, has approached me, I have to tell them no. You have to tell ancestors no, depending on the situation. Depending on the situation, you have to tell them no. Because ancestors will get aggressive. Um, but what the Most High revealed to me, though, um, and this is how I keep my hands clean. I don't do nothing without running it through the Most High. If the Most High is not present, I'm not doing anything, and that's how I keep my hands clean. And my karma or my debt low. So... What I'm saying is, Spirit was revealing to me, if an ancestor, sometimes you just got to know what's going on. If an ancestor approach you and you know you didn't call for that ancestor, sometimes I sent that ancestor to you. So I was giving you the okay to engage. And then other times, an ancestor can approach me and the most I did not send them. <laughs> um, so, um, um, people got to know what's going on. People got to know what's going on. Um, um. But like I said, certain, certain things I know through trial and error. But um, me personally, I don't. I know through experience, I don't need tools. <laughs> I don't need tools. I don't need candles. I don't need to say nothing. Uh, that's how I know the spiritual realm exists by itself. And spirits do certain things when they want to do it. <laughs> And certain stuff. <laughs> so, um, it's like, um, this karmic, it's like, it's like this karmic probably be doing money magic or, or something like that. But it's like the karmic don't realize that. 
when they are doing such certain things, their hands is no longer clean. The karmic is no longer innocent. Or it's like the karmic is picking up like karmic debt. This, like I said, this is like somebody who don't want to work. So this karmic call on their ancestors, conjure their ancestors, whatever. When you have exhausted all your options, if you're causing harm and you just doing it out of laziness, that's when you were karmic. That's what I'm saying. You just doing something out of laziness. This this type of energy I'm picking up on is this karmic do not want to get up and work. This karmic don't want a job. So they want to conjure their ancestors and do stuff and take things from other people. And then want to sit up there like they righteous when they not. Or something like that. And stuff like that. So the karmic's angel answer is no. And the karmic's advice is to know. Because it's like. The karmic probably view their ancestors as. All powerful or something. And spirit is saying. You're human. You have same capabilities as the gods. But you can't be lazy. You have to get up and do things too. Just because you have access to your ancestors, that don't mean you don't have to do nothing on the physical, in the in the natural realm. It's like something like that, this karmic. This karmic needs to do something physically themselves or manually. I heard manually. Instead of like conjuring or something like that. <laughs> this karmic don't like to do nothing. Or something like that. Yeah. This karmic be wanting their ancestors to manifest for them when the karmic should get up and manifest for themselves. Like something like that this karmic be doing. Alright. What can the karmic expect in love and romance? Okay. New love. So a new love or recommitment to love is developing. So the karmic can expect some type of new love. <clears throat> Collective, for some of you guys, this karmic could be your ex. And um, the karmic wants you back, Collective. Um, but the karmic answer is no. The karmic needs to leave you alone, Collective. And, um, cause the karmic got another lover or the karmic can have, you know, other options in love, but collective is not you. So collective, you could be the karmic's old love and spirit is telling that karmic to leave you alone. Stop spying on you. Stop telling you they're your twin and leave you alone. <laughs> so collective, this karmic is, is kind of letting you go a little bit, but this karmic got to stop thinking they're. In your life to watch over you. Because actually you can do. Collective you fine without this karmic. You don't need this karmic. Like something like that. So collective I don't know. When you was if you was when you was with this karmic. This karmic made you feel as though. They were your like your protector or something. Or something. And this karmic is kind of like being forced to like leave you alone. Because the karmic got new love. So, collective, for some of y'all, I heard this karmic used to pay for your protection. So, collective, you probably used to date this karmic. And um, you used to pay this karmic for, like, maybe readings or protection or something. Collective, you don't need this karmic for protection. This karmic not your only option or something like that. So, collective, I'm hearing the karmic really needed you. Or you're more stronger than this karmic. And the karmic was making you think like. They was almost like somebody to fear. Or. Something. Like if you broke up with them. You were going to die in a week. Or something like that. This karmic was making you. Uh, this karmic wanted you to fear leaving them or something. Like you needed them or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, so collective, I love you came out, un un I love you unconditionally came out in reverse. So collective, either this karmic don't even love you, or collective, you don't love this karmic. So for most of you guys, this karmic is your ex. And they really want to um keep a, a stronghold over you. This karmic don't want to let you go. 
But they have a new lover. And this karma need to focus on a new lover and leave you alone. Or something like that. All right. What's the karmic hidden truth concerning love and romance? I wish things could be different. Yeah. Collective, if this karmic is y'all ex and y'all think this karmic moved on, this karmic is learning to let you go, like something like that. But this karmic, this uh, this week going to be watching you. Or this karmic going to send like a, I heard a raggedy, uh, some like some type of low vibrational energy in your energy to protect you, collective. And you don't really, whatever the karmic sends to you, collective, you really don't need it. Or something um, on a natural collective, uh, say like this karmic is a man and he your lover. It's like collective, say like you breaking up with this karmic. Or you broke up from this karmic. <laughs> it's like collective, this karmic gonna say, oh, you need a gun? I'll give you a gun. You know, I'm not there to protect you. So just in case something happened, you know, I'm gonna give you this gun. Collective, don't take no gun from this karmic. This gun probably got bodies on it and all types of stuff. <laughs> it's like this karmic trying to help you or something. But I heard it's raggedy. <laughs> yeah, or something. This karmic gonna get y'all in trouble. <laughs> And this karma talking about they here to protect you or something like that. <laughs> or something. So collective, the karmic said in truth is um they wish things could be different. If y'all just karmics act, yeah. Okay. What's the karmic's lover hidden truth? What's the karmic's lover hidden truth? I also just heard collective, this karmic still be calling you. And, but this karmic got a new lover. But this karmic still be calling you. Or trying to call you in. Or something like that. Finding out the truth crushed me. Yeah. So collective. If you was, if you the karmic's ex or whatever. This could be your energy. And your hidden truth is that. You found something out about this karmic. And it crushed you. You could have found out this karmic is controlling you could have found out this karmic never loves you. You could have found out this karmic don't know what love is. Um, Y'all could have found out this karmic do dark magic. Yeah. Collective, y'all found something out about this karmic in the past or this week. And it's going to crush you. This karmic disappointed you in regards to something. And I heard this karmic wants you back. But it could be too late. Yeah. Collective, if this is concerning love and romance, it's something too late. You don't want this karmic back. Because you found something out that this karmic did. Collective, for some of y'all, the karmic could have even cheated on you. With this person who they're developing new love with. And it crushed you. So, I also just heard, Collective, if this karmic is your ex. Collective, the karmic did not love you. But the karmic's new lover, the karmic loves their new lover. And it was it's not you. So collective, you could be a female and this karmic could be a man. But it don't have to be. But collective, if you a female and this karmic your ex and he a man, this karmic did not love you. Whoever the karmic's new lover is, that's who the karmic love. So collective, if you a female, you definitely don't have to uh, give no man the time of day that don't love you. Yeah. So. And collective for some of y'all. This karmic was using y'all for money. They was using y'all for money. Or something. So give me a message for this karmic. From the guys. <clears throat> yeah y'all might block this karmic. <laughs> yeah y'all gonna block this karmic. This karmic could be y'all ex. Or well, y'all might go through a breakup with this karmic this week. I'm also picking up collective. The karmic didn't love you. And the karmic want to know if you love them. And the answer is no. The answer, so it's like, yeah. It's like collective. You wasn't supposed to love this karmic because they don't love you. <laughs> yeah. So the karmic want to know if you love them. And it's like, No. 
<laughs> you was using the collective or something like that. No, the collective don't love you or something like that. Or something. Give me a message from the guy. Appreciate your talent. Yeah. Like I said, the karmic needs to appreciate their talents. Like their natural born talents. Instead of trying to manipulate and doing spell work and dark magic and manipulating and stuff like that. The karmic needs to appreciate their natural born talent. So, like I said, this karmic is the type of person that don't like the work. But it's like the karmic has talent. It's like the karmic could be a good manager. Or the karmic could be a good communicator. But the karmic don't want to get up and get a job on a natural. So, the, the uh, guys is telling the karmic to appreciate their talents. I heard the karmic has other talents and other abilities other than the 5D. The karmic has natural talents as well. The karmic's beliefs are right for the karmic. See? Yeah. Collective, like this karmic was doing something to y'all that y'all didn't want or something like that. Something this karmic was doing. And the karmic need to know that their beliefs are right for them. And collective, the karmic's beliefs is not right for you. <laughs> it's right for them. Yeah, never judge another. Okay. So, somebody in the karmic's energy need to stop judging this karmic. Yeah, somebody was judging this karmic. <laughs> yeah. So, collective, it could be you. Collective, what I just heard was the karmic thought you were stupid and you thought the karmic was stupid. <laughs> but both of you guys have uh, strengths and weaknesses. So the karmic thought that they was caught doing you a favor and collective, I don't know what you was thinking about this karmic. <laughs> or something like that. Or collective, y'all probably used to say something to this karmic. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. All right. I heard it. Collective, if you was dating this karmic and you used to tell the karmic, you need to get up and go get you a job. And this karmic used to say, I ain't got to get up and get a job. Collective, it was something that you didn't know about this karmic. And collective, this karmic was telling the truth. This karmic can work up a spell. Collective, you could have underestimated this karmic concerning the dark arts. And that's why this karmic wouldn't get up and go get a job or something. <laughs> or something like that. Somebody was judging this karmic. Somebody better leave this karmic alone. <laughs> or something. So, Collective, you probably not into the arts or have, have as much knowledge as as this karmic concerning the dark arts and conjuring and stuff like that. And y'all y'all probably was talking about this karmic. Oh, karmic, you need to get up. Stop being lazy and this, this, and that. Collective, this karmic wasn't doing something for a reason. And that's because they were doing other things. And it was working. <laughs> so if this is not if this is not conjuring and stuff like that. The karmic could have been a scammer. It could have been something else the karmic was doing that you didn't know, Collective. And y'all could have been underestimating this karmic. Or something like that. And that's why this karmic wouldn't get up and go get a job. Or something like that. <coughs> or y'all probably didn't know how much money the karmic had saved up. It was something. I'm picking up Collective. You was judging this karmic. And it was something about this karmic you did not know. Yeah. And y'all could have been calling the karmic lazy or something like that or dumb. <laughs> this karmic, it was something. It's something in this karmic's life that they're not dumb at all. <laughs> uh, something. This karmic could have had like a, some type of money or something put up and collective. You calling this karmic dumb and this karmic taking your money and the money they take from you, they put up and they bank or something like that. And y'all was calling this karmic dumb and lazy or something like that. 
uh, something. Yeah. So the karmic needs to appreciate their talent. The karmic needs to know that their beliefs are right for them. But it's somebody in the karmic's energy that shouldn't be judging this karmic. Yeah. Yeah. I heard somebody need to realize how dark this karmic is, actually. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. So some of y'all, this karmic could be your ex. Or collective, you didn't realize that this karmic was using you. You didn't realize how much this karmic was using you or something like that. Because everybody, everybody, um, some people think that because a person is not uh, violent and aggressive, that they're not uh, dark or manipulative. So this karmic could have like a quiet demeanor and stuff like that. <laughs> But this karmic, mm -mm. this karmic could be passive aggressive and stuff like that. Mm -mm. And somebody thought they was doing getting over on this karmic or something. Somebody was doing. All right. So, what's going on with this karmic this week? What's going on with this karmic this week? Yeah, wisdom in reverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The karmic could be losing their spiritual abilities. The karmic could be... Uh... Oh, collective, for some of y'all, this karmic... Um, y'all divorce might be final this week. Y'all could have been married to this karmic. And y'all divorce is going to be final. This karmic could be a tourist. This karmic could be your ex-husband, ex-wife. Wisdom in reverse could be telling me this karmic is immoral. But it's not obvious. This karmic is immoral. This karmic break laws, break rules. 3D and 5D. Yeah. This karmic break rules. They break laws. Yeah. Higher fine reverse. And collective, I, I said this karmic is trying to watch over you or help you, but it's immoral. Or like I said, collective for some of y'all, collective, this karmic could even be your homeboy or your homegirl. And I heard somebody's going to try to give somebody a gun for that, like their protection. This karmic like, oh, let me get you a gun or something like that. Collective, don't take no gun from this karmic or something like that. This karma gonna get y'all in trouble or something. Yeah. I also heard if this karmic is a female, I heard that this karmic could have went through a bad divorce in the past. And the karmic has unhealed wounds from the past. So it's like collective, um, the karmic overcompensates or overly protects you because of their bad divorce that they went through in the past. So, or... Maybe the karmic spouse could have passed away in the past. The karmic could be traumatized a little bit as well, but it's negative. It's like collective, say like um, the karmic's uh, spouse in the past passed away, but the karmic spouse was like a prostitute or a drug dealer. So that's why the karmic spouse got hurt. It was their lifestyle. And since the karmic's spouse or ex got killed, the karmic is overly paranoid, overly protective, and stuff like that. But collective, what the karmic don't realize is what happened to the karmic's ex is not going to happen to you because you don't live that lifestyle. So the karmic projects negative in your life. Oh, you need a gun. Oh, you need to protect yourself. You got to do this. You got to do that. And it's like, collective, you don't even need all that. It's like the karmic mean well, 
but something is dark or something is unnecessary because this karmic is not healed or something. Or this karmic could be very controlling. It's like collective. Ain't nothing going to happen to you because you don't sell drugs or you're not a pro. It's like you don't live a certain type of lifestyle. So why the karmic want to project that energy onto you or something like that? Or collective, this, this karmic. Yeah, this karmic wisdom in reverse. So this karmic could be paranoid. Because they wisdom in reverse. This karmic could be very paranoid. And this karmic um collective, I also heard for some of you guys, the karmic offended you and you not you're not aware of it. Or you don't know this karmic did it. Something could have happened to you this week on the past. And you don't know that it was the karmic that did it to you. So the karmic feel as though they have to compensate for the wrong that they did you. But they're overly compensating. This karmic like, oh, I got to watch out for the, I got to watch over the collective. Because I know a couple of, you know, years ago, I put this spell over the collective or something. The collective, this karmic need to leave you alone. This karmic could be doing something out of guilt as well. And they just need to stop. The Ten of Swords. So it's like collective this karmic. For some of you guys, this karmic is trying to pay down karmic debt, but at your expense. Yeah, at your expense. So collective, say like the karmic offended you in the past. Say like the karmic put a love spell on you and use you for money in the past. And the karmic feel bad about it. So instead of the karmic sitting you down and saying, you know what? I apologize. I'm going to be honest with you. I put a spell on you. And you know, the whole thing was an illusion. And I apologize. And you know, I'm not going to never do that again. And I'm going to go my way. And you go your way. And I hope you forgive me and stuff like that. Collected this karmic, like, is trying to make you hold on to them or they're trying to hold on to you to do good deeds to pay down karmic debt but it's a right and a wrong way to pay down karmic debt something this karmic mm -mm. collective this karmic better off leaving you alone and they'll pay their karmic debt off faster to just leave you alone because collective for some of y'all you don't even know that it was this karmic that offended you so this karmic need to leave you alone yeah, something like that. So, Ten of Swords, Ear, the Lovers, Gemini. This karmic could be a Gemini or dealing with a Gemini or got Gemini placements. Four of Pentacles. Collective, I think you're the four of pentacles. Or the card of the four of pentacles. Somebody four of pentacles. Somebody could be holding back from the karmic. Collective, the karmic could have betrayed your twin. So, so I think somebody holding back from that karmic. Collective, for, for some of you guys, y'all used to give the karmic money. Or you're just holding back. Or y'all used to give this karmic money. Or something. The karmic could have did harm to your twin. Or the karmic did harm to a Gemini or something. And y'all holding back from this karmic or something. Yeah, we got strength. Yeah. Y'all displaying y'all strength. Yeah. <laughs> or collective... The karmic want to know who your new lover is and you won't tell the karmic. Or collective, you're so tempted to call the karmic and, 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 and you might restrict yourself. Because this karmic probably used to be your lover. And you want to ask the karmic so bad, who you talking to, who you dating. And collective, you might restrict yourself. Hold back from this karmic. For some of y'all, I heard your breakup from this karmic is new. And you just going to have to restrict yourself. Because this karmic is not worth it. This, you shouldn't go back to this karmic. Even if you have lingering feel, feelings, don't entertain your feelings for this karmic. 
Yeah. Because this car ain't got no sense. <laughs> Or y'all divorce gonna be final or something like that this week or something. Or this car may be doing stuff behind the scenes, probably that you don't know. This car may immoral. They break laws, they break rules. 3D and 5D. Or collective, you allowing this karmic to watch over you is not wise because this karmic is not wise. Or collective, this karmic is not your spouse. So this karmic probably want to have some type of duties or something in your life that only a spouse should have. And don't allow this karmic to um, perform those duties in your life. Like something like that. So collective, you could be a man and this karmic want to wash your clothes and cook for you and wash your hair. And don't let this karmic do that. <laughs> this karmic could be crazy or something. Does karmic want to um, do things that a wife would do or that a husband would do? But it's like, collective, you're not married to this karmic. So hold back or something like that. I don't know what this karmic want to do for you. Or it's the ending of the karmic making a wise decision. I also see this karmic don't have a choice in something. This karmic lost their ability to choose or something is happening and this karmic ain't got no choice or something like that. So collective, for some of you guys, the karmic don't have no choice but like to keep their distance from you. Because you hold back from the karmic. So it's like the karmic don't have no choice. All they can do is watch or something like that. So collective, this karmic could have been doing something for 10 weeks. This karmic could have asked you something 10 times. Yeah. Okay, I see. Collected this karmic. Okay, I see what's going on. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. Collected this karmic did something six times behind your back. The sixth time. The karmic switched up their behavior. In the last four times the karmic did something to you, the karmic uh, like wasn't trying to manipulate you the last four times. So the karmic did something to you six times without you knowing. And then the last four times the karmic did this, you knew about it. So, I'm hearing collective, it's something that the karmic wanted from you or something. Uh, and the karmic, the karmic always knew you would say no. So, instead of the karmic making it obvious that they were doing it to you, they did it behind your back. And they could have did it six times. Something happened when the karmic did it the sixth time. And the karmic was like, you know what? I'm not going to try to manipulate the collective. I'm going to just walk up to the collective and ask them straight up. So, collective, the four times that the karmic did it, like, in your face or approached you, you held back. So, you was four pentacles. That's why the karmic ten swords. Yeah. So, collective, I don't know what this karmic was tempting you with. Or what this is. <clears throat> so, collective, like I said, for some of you guys, y'all could have been dating this karmic. And collective, you could have became aware that this karmic is very controlling. And collective, when you was dating this karmic, you wasn't cheating on this karmic. When this karmic used to ask, let me see your phone, give me your phone. Collective, you just told the karmic no. Because it's the fact that you know this karmic controlling and you're not, I'm not giving you my cell phone. You don't look through my cell phone. I don't ask to look through your phone. You're not looking through my phone. But collective, the four times that the karmic asked you, could they look through your phone, you told them no. But what you didn't know is that six times, it was six other times the karmic was looking through your phone without you knowing or something like that. Or something. I'm giving that for an example, but I see that. Something like that going on. 
So collective, you're displaying your strength in some type of way to this karmic. It's like your no is a no or your yes is a yes or something like that. And you could have told this karmic no 10 times or something energetically and verbally or something like that. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic could be your friend. And maybe this karmic wanted you to um, like do something fraudulent with them. But collective, for some of you guys, this karmic has been doing things behind your back. This karmic could have been signing your name and stuff. Putting your name and stuff. But collective, I'm picking up four of the four of the ten times that this karmic did something. Four of the times the karmic asked you. Yeah, the karmic will ask you to engage in something immoral with them. And for you told this person no. But it was six times that they did something behind your back. So something like that. Yeah. So, collective, I'm picking up. I'm picking up, collective, what questions did the karmic used to ask you that you used to say no to? And I heard, okay, now think about what the karmic did behind your back. Something the karmic used to ask you and you used to tell this karmic no. I, I heard, now imagine what they did behind your back when they didn't ask you. Like, something like that. Clarify the Ten of Swords. The Chariot. Yeah. Collective, this karmic wanted to battle with you. For some of y'all, collective, this karmic could be your competitor and work, love, and life. And they wanted to compete with you. But it's a painful ending to that karmic being able to compete with you. This karmic wanted to overcome a problem at your expense. Um, collective for some of y'all, this karmic could have been asking you, can they purchase your car or something? They want, probably wanted to buy a car from you, and this karmic kept asking you, and you kept telling this karmic no. So something going on with a vehicle. Or this karmic wanted to overcome a problem at your expense, or this karmic was secretly competing with you. Yeah, this karmic wanted war with you. And they could have tried you 10 times or something like that. Clarify the lovers. <laughs> Collective, I also see um, you could have been dealing with like an entity over your life that was assigned to your life. And Collective, you dealt with 10 people. So Collective, say like, in your life so far, all you run into is narcissists and work, love, and life. You've been dealing, you had to tell 10 narcissists no, or you had to overcome 10 narcissists. Collective, this week, the spirit of narcissism is going to be completely defeated in your life. So for some of y'all, this is like an entity, like a demonic attack that was over your life. Like this is a entity that was sending 10 people with a certain type of karmic energy to you and this week is is over like you completely passed the test you completely you're completely done with a karmic cycle so for some of y'all that ten of swords is like uh it's spiritual warfare and the entity the spirit is going to be defeated so um, yeah, I'm picking that up too. Yeah, so for some of you guys, um, uh, or collective, this karmic been doing this to you. This karmic been sending things in your energy. And every time you had to tell the, these demons or these unclean spirits no, or tell these people no. So collective, I'm hearing for some of you guys, the, kar there was, the karmic can't do this no more. So, collective, say like the karmic sent you 10 narcissists. The karmic is no longer allowed in this lifetime to send you another narcissistic spirit. The karmic can't do this no more. 
So now, collective, the karmic, like, oh, I'll watch over you. Uh-uh. Because it was the karmic sending this the, th this drama to you or something. And this karmic, like, oh, oh, I'll watch over you or something. Mm-mm. I heard it was the karmic that was causing you immortality. It was the karmic causing you immortality. Or something like that this karmic was doing. And they could have did it to you ten times. Or the karmic was sending you immortality. So, so the karmic for some of y'all was sending y'all death. Trying to send death to you or something. Yeah, the chariot is the car of war. Yeah, so it's a painful ending to this karma trying to start up a war with you. Or something. Clarify the lovers. The high priestess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, this karmic made a conscious decision to keep something a secret. So because this karmic didn't properly do shadow work, um, this karmic is like officially declared wrong. Officially, um, this karmic is wrong. I'm hearing it's a certain type of power this karmic no longer have over your life. Or it's a certain ability the karmic no longer have or something. Because the karmic was keeping secrets. Yeah. It's like you don't do something ten times to somebody. You don't try to cause harm to somebody ten times. And just because it don't work. Oh, now you want to be that person friend. No, that don't work like that. That don't work like that. This karmic was keeping secrets. Yeah, the high priestess. And it was a decision that the karmic made to be the high priestess. And the high priestess is to keep secrets or be the third party. So, collective, for some of you guys, you could be married and the karmic is not. And collective, the karmic could have been chasing you or begging you. The karmic wanted to be your third party. The karmic wanted to be the high priestess. The karmic wanted to be your lover. And the karmic didn't mind being a third party. So some of you guys, you're married. And this karmic is not. Or something. Yeah. In collective, I see it's like the karmic wanted to only be your lover. Or the karmic preferred to be the high priestess. The karmic wanted to be the, the other woman or the other man. Or this karmic preferred, the karmic made a conscious choice to keep secrets. And to not tell you something or something like that. Clarify the four pentacles. That's why the karmic not getting his victory. Because of a choice they made. Yep. Yeah. And it was the choice of the high priestess. <coughs> Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic could be your, a friend of yours, a family member, a co-worker. And this karmic was messing around with your lover. Yeah. This karmic wanted to be a fake friend to you or something. You got the empress. Yeah. So, collective, for some of you guys, this karmic kind of like pity you. Collective, for some of y'all, you don't know this karmic. This karmic is just like your lover's third party. And collective, for some of y'all, this karmic pities you because you have no idea that maybe for 10 weeks or for 10 years or 10 months that they was messing around with your lover. And this karmic got the nerve to pity you or something like that. Oh, something. Yeah, I heard this karmic pity you. Collective, for some of y'all, <laughs> you was going through something with your husband, your wife, 
or your lover. And collective, whoever your lover is or whoever this other person is, this person could have been threatening you. So the karmic was aware that somebody like wanted, wanted you dead or something. So this karmic did something and spirit is like, no, no, the collective, no, it's, no, we don't need your protection. Um, I heard what the karmic should have did was came and told you. That's what the karmic should have did. So collective, it's like this karmic was sitting there listening to this person threatening you. Oh, I'm going to kill the collective. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But the karmic chose to be quiet. And going to sit there and do something, something, something raggedy or something like that. <laughs> something raggedy this karmic did. No, nah, that ain't how you do stuff. Or something. This karmic like, oh, well, I, 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 tr I tried to help or something. This karmic, nah, something this karmic was trying to do is raggedy. Yeah, it's a right and a wrong way to do something. Something this karmic doing. And the angels is like, absolutely not. That's raggedy or something. Or collective for some of y'all, this karmic could be a spiritualist or something. And this karmic, this karmic was trying to uh get you to kill somebody or something. Something this karmic, something raggedy this karmic doing. And wanted to come off high vibrational or something like that. Clarify your strength. Karmic. Mm -mm. Yeah, the ten of pentacles, yeah. So, collective, for some of you guys, you have some information that the karmic want, or this is, like, money. So, the pentacles could be energy, time, resources, money. Collective, you're restricting, uh, I heard collect your thoughts. So, collective, when you used to be around this karmic, it's like you couldn't collect yourself, or you couldn't collect your thoughts or something. So you got to hold back from this karmic so you can get your thoughts together, get your life together, get your mind together, get your money together. Yeah. Collective, for some of y'all, you could be married and this karmic is your lover's ex or your lover's third party or something. And um, collective, you might be restricting yourself from this karmic because this karmic could be trying to get your spouse in trouble. So collective, it's like you got to be quiet. Yeah, so you can maintain your ten pentacles. This karmic could be trying to sue you, sue your husband. But it's like this karmic wants you to say something so she can sue y'all or something. Or so he can sue y'all or something like that. Or something. Yeah. So you're restricting that ten pentacles from this karmic. That's what the karmic wanted. Or the karmic wanted to compete for that ten pentacles. And the pentacles can be information. Yeah. But collective, you gave the karmic a little something. Like the four pentacles is here. But collective, you held back. Because this karmic, it's like collective, the karmic. It's like collective, the karmic was asking you stuff. And then you would answer the karmic, but then when you answer the karmic, the karmic hold back and be like, no, nah, I ain't telling you that or something. The karmic wanted like information from you or time from you, but they didn't want to do like equal give and take or something like that. Because this karmic was keeping secrets. Or this karmic was messing around with your lover. Or this karmic a, high, a dark high priestess or something like that. Or something. Collective, for some of y'all, I see that um, the karmic could be, could be, uh, the karmic's divorce could be finalized this week. And collective, you could have been a third party. Or something like that. So that's the scenario, too. So, collective, for some of y'all, say like your divine masculine was dating this karmic. 
And while your divine masculine was going through his divorce with the karmic, your divine masculine used to tell the karmic, I'm going to kill you. I hate you. This is an act. This is an act. So, collective, the karmic is aware that your divine masculine is uh, with you or something like that. It's like, collective, this karmic feels as though she got to watch over you. Because all she know was that when her and your divine masculine was going through their divorce, he was threatening her. But this karmic don't realize that. <laughs> this karmic don't. Mm -mm. Oh, God. It's like, collective, this karmic don't realize that your divine masculine don't have any reason to, to, to threaten you. <laughs> it was just her <laughs> or something. Or it's like collective this karmic trying to protect you. But it's like this karmic don't like you or something. Something. Mm -mm. This karmic could be y'all twins ex. Or something. And this karmic acting like they doing you a favor, but it's like deep down this karmic hates you or this karmic jealousy you or something. And this karmic trying to hide it or something like that. Mm-mm. It's like don't come high and mighty and try to act like you doing me a favor when in your heart you hate me or something like that. Something going on like that. This karmic trying to get away with something and the spiritual realm is like, no. The angels is like, no, we see you from the inside out or something like that. Or something. Six of pentacles. Yeah, look at this dirty offer. Mm-hmm. A jackpot. Yeah, something was about money. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic wanted to be your third party or be your lover's third party or something like that for money. Or something going on with some dirty money or fake money. Or somebody wanted somebody to do something low vibrational for money. So, collective, I'm also hearing the karmic could have asked someone to do something low vibrational for money. And somebody told the karmic, no. I'm hearing what this what this karmic did after somebody told them no. Collective, uh, the, okay. Collective, what this karmic did, somebody rejected this karmic. This karmic offered somebody money to do something low vibrational. So, collective, what this karmic did was, it's like this karmic could have um, conjured something to cause you harm because you told them no, but at the same time, they conjured something it's like the karmic conjures something dark and light and was like, go towards the collective and whatever happened, happened. So it's like collective, the karmic put you in harm's way, but at the same time, they, they was trying to protect you, but they the one who put you in harm's way. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I just saw that too. Because this karmic asked somebody something and somebody said no. And this karmic was like, oh, you tell me no? Okay. I send a legion of armies your way. You tell me no. And this karmic was like, it's like the karmic sent out war for you. But at the same time, the karmic was like, I'll watch over you or something. Uh-uh, something this karmic did. Yeah. Something going on with giving money, yeah. Or collective, you or your lover rejected this karmic. I'm picking up. Somebody told this karmic no. And this karmic started a war with somebody. Because somebody told this karmic no. And this karmic could have been doing this to y'all for like. The swords could be weeks. So the karmic could have been uh, coming up against y'all for like 10 weeks. Or something like that. Yeah. Or it's like collective. The karmic was coming up against you or the karmic knew somebody else that was coming up against you and the karmic didn't say nothing. The karmic was the high priestess. Or something. 
So whoever four pentacles in strength, they had a right to be because this karmic was coming for war or something. Yeah. So collective, you could be the empress. Or you was protecting the empress. Or you're the empress. Some of y'all could be pregnant. Some of y'all could be very successful. Collective, you have a constant flow of something. Collective, if you're a female, this karmic could have been doing like fertility magic on you or something for your womb. This karmic could have been asking you questions about your womb. Or something this karmic was asking you. All right, what's the tea with the ten of swords with the chariot? Ignoring, yeah. Yeah, so y'all ignoring this karmic. Somebody's ignoring this karmic. <laughs> In collective, it could be a masculine that's ignoring this karmic. Or this karmic is a masculine. And this karmic might regret ignoring you. Y'all could have been asking this karmic a question and this karmic was not answering you. And you like, oh, okay, that tell me everything I need to know. I'm asking you this and asking you that and you ignore me. That's telling me everything or something. Or something. What's the tea with the lovers and the high priestess? Child neglect. Collected, this karmic probably wanted to know something about your children. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic could have been around your children. And uh, this karmic was the third party. So this karmic could be your like your kid's step-parent. And they were being mean to your child. Or this, yeah. So this karmic was keeping secrets about some type of child neglect. Or this karmic was keeping secrets about their childhood. When they was neglected as a child or something like that. Yeah. So collective for some of you guys. If this karmic was a victim of child neglect. I don't know if you trigger something in this karmic about their childhood. But it's like this karmic didn't want to tell you or something. <clears throat> or something. Wait a minute. Bad parenting scared of hates parent. Oh, collective for some of y'all, this karma could be your parent or your parents. Okay, that's what this is for some of you guys. Yeah, collective for some of you guys, this karma could be your parents and they could have neglected you as a child. But it's like collective, your parents oh, or your karmic parent. It's like they still could be trying to abuse you as an adult. Or it's like collective, your karmic parents, instead of them doing shadow work or maybe apologizing to you, they act like they never did anything to you or something like that. Or this, or your karmic parents still be trying to do stuff to you as an adult. And then they like to keep it a secret or something. Or something. Or something like that. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic could be your siblings. I see that too. This karmic could be a sibling of yours. In collective, you and the karmic, both of you guys could have been neglected as a child. But it's like collective, your sibling abuse you as an adult. And then it's like when you confront your sibling, your sibling say, oh, but we was abused. Mommy and daddy abused us. And that's why, yeah. 
or something. Or collective, your sibling feels entitled to your ten of pentacles or something. It's like collective, you and your sibling could have been a victim of child neglect from your parents. But your sibling feels entitled to your ten of pentacles or something. Or they don't like the work. And they, they say, oh, because we was abused. We was abused or something. But it's like your sibling be stealing from you or something. Or your sibling trying to kill you for some money or something like that. Or something. Or something like that. Yeah, collective. For some of y'all, this is your, this karmic is your sibling. Yeah. And it's like collective, you could have got over your past and your sibling didn't. And collective, you don't want to hear it no more. You don't want to hear it no more about your sibling complaining about your childhood. And the karmic so crazy. <laughs> collective, this karmic still so wrapped up in the past when y'all could have been neglected as a child, as children. It's like collective, when you tell the karmic, I don't want to talk about it. That's old. Let's forgive mommy. Let's forgive daddy. Let's move on. Collective, this karmic think you crazy. This karmic think you crazy and this karmic think you need protection or something. Because you, you're evolving. You don't want to uh, hold on to the past. This karmic like, oh, I'm going to watch over you. Or you need help or you need protection or something like that. This karmic. Yeah, collective, for some of y'all, this karmic could be losing their mind a little bit. Y'all might realize this week that this karmic could be, like, traumatized or got PTSD or something. So, I'm going to give an example. Collective, say, like, in the past when y'all was growing up, your mother or your father came home. And um, your mother and father or something could have tried to stab you. This is when y'all was, like, maybe, what, 5 or 10 or something like that. Collective, y'all can be in y'all 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. And this karmic is still telling you that you need to have protection just in case your mother or father come back in the house again and try to stab y'all. Like something like that. It's, yeah, this karmic can have PTSD or something. And it's like collective, your mother and father could be like in the 80s, 90s. And this car may still be thinking about it when y'all was like 10 or 5. When y'all mother or father came in the house and tried to stab you or something. Yeah, this car could be traumatized or something. Yeah. Or collective, this karmic don't want you around don't want you around that someone that could have abused you in the past. This karmic tell you don't go to mommy house, don't go to daddy house. Or something. Or something this karmic. This karmic is not in a high vibration this week at all. At all. What's the tea with the four pentacles and the empress? But collective, for some of you guys, this karmic... <laughs> Want some type of abundance. So, either you a victim or you not. It's like, usually when a person is victimized, they kind of like don't want the money. Or they don't think about money or something like that. But it's like this karmic is focused on abundance. So, why you keep talking about you being a victim of child abuse when all you talk about is money? Or something like that. <laughs> or it's like this karmic um, uses their uh, childhood experiences as a reason why they don't want to get a job or something. Or something like that. I also heard collective this karmic talking about they going to watch over you and this karmic don't even got enough money. <laughs> or something like that. Or collective, this karmic 
don't have something that they say that they have. So like I said, collective, this could be the karmic saying, oh, I'm going to buy you a gun or I'm going to do this. This karmic can't afford no gun. Or this karmic saying, oh, I'm going to conjure up something. I'm going to protect you. This karmic level of protection is raggedy. The karmic don't have enough spiritual abundance to like uh, properly protect you with high vibrational energies. Like something like that. That's what I'm trying to say. This karmic lacks abundance. 3D or 5D. And this karmic is saying they can help you when they really can't. Because collective in reality, this karmic needed from you. Yeah. Yeah, in reality, collective, this karmic needs it from you. <laughs> this karmic can't give you nothing. Or something like that. <laughs> or collective, this karmic talking about, I'm going to watch over you, but this karmic is like paranoid. Because you don't need protection or there's nobody following you or something. This karmic talking about, I'm going to watch over you or something. What's the tea with the four pentacles and the empress? Yeah, something. This karmic is low vibrational. Yeah. Oh, collective. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Collective, for some of y'all, this karmic is like two-faced. They are hypocrite. This karmic can have mental health issues. Collective, this karmic is saying they'll watch over you, but they're the ones causing you problems. This karmic is the one causing you problems. Or collective, the reason why the karmic is watching over you is because they're the reason for your problems. So collective, this is like the karmic telling people to gang stalk you. And this karmic know what they did to you. And now they're talking about, oh, I'm going to watch over you. But they send the wolves out to you or something. So collective, you could have held back from this karmic because this karmic was making fake accounts. Or this karmic had people gang stalking you or something. Yeah, it was this karmic doing something to you. And now they talking about, oh, I want to watch over you. No. Karmic. Yeah, fake social media accounts to spy Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, so collective, this karmic was making fake accounts or had other people make a fake accounts. Or collective, this karmic was starting rumors about you and had people making fake accounts to spy on you. Or was this karmic doing it? Yeah. Or collective, this karmic could have been trying to accuse you of child neglect. And collective, you knew it. So you held back from the karmic. Because you knew the karmic was trying to accuse you of child neglect and you the empress. Yeah, it's something going on with child neglect. And collective, this karmic could have been trying to do this to you ten times. This karmic tried to do something to you ten times. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this karmic was trying to do something. And collective, you the empress. And you wouldn't let this karmic in your energy. You would hold back because it was some fake accounts or something. Yeah, it could have been this karmic. Collective, for some of y'all, you the parent and this is your child. Your child was doing this to you. Yeah. So, collective, for some of y'all, this is your child doing this to you. Because they feel as though you neglected them as a child. Or, collective, this is your karmic parents that's doing this to you. Yeah. For other you guys, it's a sibling doing this to y'all. This karmic is a sibling. And for other you guys, this karmic is like, y'all divorced or something could be final this week. This could be y'all ex. And maybe your ex was trying to get the kids from you or something. Through y'all divorce. <coughs> What's the tea with strength and the ten pentacles? Ghosted. I also see a couple out here. It could be two men. They're gay and they could have had children. And they're going through a divorce. I just saw that too. It's two men going through this. And they gay. And stuff like that. 
and something going on with divorce court or something like that. And these two men had a child. Yeah. Or they adopted a child or something. And they going through a divorce. Yeah. Collective, I also see and I heard what this karmic is doing. And this karmic could be doing this out of ignorance. Collective, this karmic could be trying to send you some type of protection. But the entity that the karmic sends to you to watch over you, this entity don't like children. And Collective, you can have children. Or something like that. And collective, you hold them back. Because collective, you can have some type of information. You're aware about something. It's karmic trying to send you help, but it's not really help. Yeah, or something. Yeah, this karmic talking about, oh, I'll protect you or something like that. And it's going to send you something. And it's like this entity don't like children. Or collective, you could have went to the karmic for help in the past. This karmic could be a practitioner. And this karmic was like, oh, I'll help you. Do this, do that. But collective, what the karmic didn't tell you was that whatever type of help the karmic gave you, the energy don't like children or something like that. Or it kills your fetuses or it do something with the empress energy. That's what the karmic didn't tell you and they did it on purpose. And it could have been because of money. It's like the karmic didn't give you all the information you needed about whatever you went to for this karmic for help or something like that. Or something this karmic could be a practitioner. But it's like they don't. This karmic fails. This karmic lacks the abundance concerning information. Experience. Or the ability to care. For some of y'all, this karmic do have the information. They just didn't care. They wanted your money. So they did the work for you or something like that. And this karmic, you the empress, and this karmic failed to tell you that. Um, This energy, whatever they was going to do for you, it hate kids or something. Something this karmic did. Yeah. Yeah, so collective, you could have ghosted this karmic and it's like you not telling the karmic why. Yeah, you something this karmic want to know, you're not telling this karmic why. Or collective, when you really needed this karmic, this karmic ghosted you or something like that. Or you ghosted the karmic and you not telling this karmic why. <clears throat> Or something like that. Give me the scoop with ignoring. Yeah, wrong way. Yeah. So, collective, if this karmic was ignoring you in any type of way, the karmic gonna realize this week that was the wrong way to go. Collective, you could have been asking this karmic something and they was ignoring you or something like that. And the karmic gonna realize. That was the wrong way to go, but it could be too late. This karmic could have been ignoring y'all. Because it's like this karmic wanted to start a war with you. Um, or something could have been going on with a car. And this karmic was ignoring you or something. Or collected this karmic wanted war with you. And it's like this karmic didn't want you to know that they were your enemy until the last minute. Or something. But the karmic shouldn't have did this like this. Or something.
Collective, I also heard too, for some of you guys, y'all went to this karmic in the past or this week for some type of work. And Collective, you did what the karmic told you to do, but something went wrong. And you was trying to call this karmic back and this karmic would not answer the phone or something like that. So Collective, this karmic could have did something to y'all on purpose. And then after the spell work backfired on you, Collective, the karmic wouldn't answer their phone. Or something like that, this karmic did it. What's the school with child neglect? An altercation, yeah. 